Hey guys, Dennis here. Um, Megan and I are en route to the Linwood area. Today we will be searching for Randy Leach. If you're not familiar with the case, please go back and look at our previous videos on the Randy Leach case. He's been missing since 1988 from Linwood, Kansas. Right now we are heading to Bonner Springs. A one of the viewers and a person in one of the Randy Leach Facebook groups has shared a picture of an object in the creek at Wolf Creek off of West 32. So we are heading there right now going to see if we can get access to walk in and see what this object is and try to clear that area. So after we're done with this, we're going to head on over toward Linwood. There's a lot of small bridges over creeks that we want to clear. Um, while waiting on our sonar unit, we decided we needed to clear these areas. And then once we've got our sonar, we can jump straight into the deeper water searches. So that's the plan for today. You will want to stay tuned my expectations today after Wolf Creek if this turns out to not be a vehicle my expectations are a little low today considering Google Earth satellite imaging these other creeks likely aren't hiding a vehicle but I do want to physically go there search them to be able to mark those as clear instead of just clearing it off of an image so stay tuned and we'll see you when we get to the creek We're coming up to Wolf Creek right now. Um, right there. The creek does look deep enough to float a vehicle. Our hold up right now is the person we need to talk to to gain access to walk this is not here today. So we will be waiting for permission from them to access that property on foot, to be able to search that on foot, to clear it and see what this object is. So, hopefully they get a hold of us today. If not, when they do get a hold of us, we will be driving back out to this property to search this. And if we don't hear from them within the next day or two, we'll be bringing a drone out and flying the drone down through there uh, with the trees and stuff through there it may be a little sketchy with the drone so hopefully they will give us permission to go in on foot hopefully we hear from them today uh, we'll keep you guys posted on that and let you know when we're gonna search it and bring you along on that search as well so at this point it's right down here. It's this left hand side. The creek goes back and makes a right hand turn. And it's after that right hand turn where the object is that is showing up on Google Earth. So I want to search this. But hopefully they will get a hold of us today. But this is what, half an hour from the house? So. As soon as we hear from them that we can 
access this property to go in to search that we will be back out here that definitely needs cleared not just the object itself which is a big thing that needs cleared but the creek itself needs to be cleared so we will be back on this location so now we are heading on over to Linwood we are nine miles from Linwood so we're going to head that way and check out some other locations so we'll see you when we get there we are now in Linwood Kansas and we are not too far from where Alberta Leach lives um, she actually lives on this road 198th I just pissed my turn um, I'm gonna have to go up here and turn around but the next bridge we're searching is down 198 there so we will see you when we get down there go. hey guys we just stopped at our first bridge here we are on 198th street this bridge goes over nine mile creek and this bridge is cleared we didn't get to film on this one um, traffic and everything we we didn't film but this one is a hundred percent cleared so we are on our way to our next location um, I can't confirm if it's the original Strouds or not but we are across the street from Strouds right now and I believe that's the location that Randy had went into that day to buy the candy bars the soda pop and the gasoline I'm gonna have to confirm to see if that's the original but we are on our way to our next location and we'll see you out there okay Megan just informed me that I mispronounced the name of the gas station so Megan please let us know what it is Stouts okay so Stouts not Strouts Strouts is a restaurant <laughs> so we will see you at our next location okay guys at this point we have cleared two more bridges there was simply nothing of any relevance there um, absolutely no way a vehicle's there you can see everything um, the water does appear to be up a little bit right now and even so I mean there was not a lot of water not enough water in there to push a vehicle hide a vehicle so we do have those areas cleared we are moving on to our next areas bumpy <laughs> and we are on 222nd right now and where we've cleared a couple bridges and I'll be honest with you I don't feel he's gonna be over on this side of town this far out like this but we've seen these and figure them as areas of interest at this point there's a couple properties I want to drive by and at least just get a fill of them and for possible future ground searches on those properties so we're gonna drive by those and we'll bring you up on here and let you know approximately where we're at and everything on those um, so right now, I think we should head back over towards Linwood because the other bridges are further out and they will get checked for sure. Um, here, let me see this a minute. See, we've got areas like this. Driving by, I know it's probably hard to see. But we were able to pull over, get out, check and see, and there's nothing down there. Um, you could you could see foot traffic has been through there. So anything 
something that would have somebody would have done come across but even that being said we didn't see anything that we felt would hide anything and, you know it's once you get out there it's pretty wide open there so we had that area cleared and let's head on back into Linworth okay Megan caught me again Lynn Wood we are out of Leavenworth so somehow Linwood and Leavenworth become Linworth but let's head back into Linwood okay guys at this point we are on 166th Street we are going to drive out to see the the property where the graduation party took place and in the process we'll see the Flanagan property as well the party location I've had reports that the owners wouldn't let anybody come in to search but I've also got reports that there is new property owners there so we wanted to come out find these locations look at them um, We'll see if we can get access to somebody's home, but we really want to get a feel of the property. So when if we do gain access and we come out to do a big search, we'll have a little bit more to go on. And Linwood, it's a lot smaller than I expected it to be. It's our first time coming out to Linwood. But again, we are on 166th and we're heading out to the party location now. So uh, we'll bring you back on when we get to it. Okay guys, right up here is the party property. Uh, we just passed it. They do have a big do not enter sign up. also appears to be for sale which means so we will we will get in contact with them to see if we can gain access to this property um, the do not enter sign you know at this point in time I'm sure there's been several people coming out wanting to search asking questions and they didn't live there at the time obviously and so I don't blame them for having to sign up um, I don't blame people who do not allow access some people think that denied access automatically assumes guilt and it very well could but we also have to consider they may feel that they may be liable if somebody gets injured there's so liability purposes uh, privacy purposes a lot of people who live way out like this they don't like being bothered by people wanting to come in especially wanting to come in and search their property like that so I can't pass judgment on somebody that denies access or has this type of sign up but hopefully uh, we'll be able to get in contact with them and hopefully they will allow us to search um, if they don't they do have a cell sign up so we will keep track of it if they refuse access and if the property sells then maybe the new owner would allow us so we will be trying to get permission for this and we will keep you guys updated on that so for now we're going to head back over toward Glenwood and see if we could find a couple more bridges that we have on our list to get those checked off and then 
I talked to Betty on Friday and it was the first time I got to talk with her we had a really good conversation and toward the end of our searching today um, we will be contacting Alberta and letting her know that we were in the area and had done some searches and and then uh, we will definitely be back out here the feeling out here seeing the party house it's kind of hard to describe knowing that was the last place that Randy was seen it's it's got that feeling to it you know and if you didn't know anything about it you would drive by it like any other property but knowing the significance of it it's just added a whole new feeling basically since we come through Bonner and started getting close to Linwood it's and again we're looking for Randy so that's likely where it's all stemming from but just that feeling you know okay guys I gotta apologize about the wind my windows down I've got a vehicle behind me so I can't slow down but we are fixing to come over Stranger Creek we are on the West 32 bridge so this isn't the spot of interest it would be further downstream but I wanted to jump on and share Stranger Hey guys today we've done a lot of drives today we were able to go to a lot of those little bridges that we wanted to clear and know for sure that they are clear we were able to clear those um, we, we're still waiting to hear back we haven't heard back yet from the guy to see about access to Wolf Creek um, we're gonna give it a day or two you know this is Sunday you know we'll see if he contacts us this evening or tomorrow but if he contacts us with permission to access that creek through their property we will be driving out probably that evening to go in and search that and if he denies access then we will go ahead and bring our drone out and try to fly our drone down through there to see what the object is in the creek down there so that one is on hold pending access to the property but either way either with access or by drone within a week I plan on having that area searched and cleared one way or the other we've we drove past the party location in Flanagan's um, in the process we drove by the Bishop property we went over to Golden Road and drove down it and we've been able to get a basic feel of the layout out here um, it's different these roads pop up on you out of nowhere out here and it's it's beautiful country to have such a, a sad part of history attached to it like this. But at this point, we are going to head on home. And once I get home, I'm going to uh, call Alberta and let her know where we've been today. Uh, places we've been able to clear um, there's some spots that we did not get to and honestly they're so far out I don't expect anything to be there but we will be coming back to clear those so they are a hundred percent clear and you know just if you have any any ideas anywhere you would like to see us 
try to clear, uh, please reach out to us. Let us know. Those of you who have been sending information our way, we appreciate that. Please keep it up. Um, it's been very helpful. In fact, a lot of our water sonar searches that will be coming up in the near future, a lot of that is thanks to some of you guys reaching out to us and saying, hey, I feel this needs checked. Um, those locations are on our list. We have a fairly large list of areas that we want to search not saying we will get to it all depends on being able to gain access to those properties but we do have a long list and we are more than happy to add locations to it um, again if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe turn on the notifications um, share our videos um, help us grow this the more this grows, the more we're going to be able to try to help families find the answers they're looking for. And, you know, I apologize we didn't really get footage of the bridges that we were clearing. To be a small town out here that feels like you're in the middle of nowhere, and maybe it's just because it's a Sunday, but it's been vehicle after vehicle coming through behind us and that's made it difficult with safety and stuff because these bridges we were able to clear from the bridge itself uh, we did not have to access the properties um, you could see to know that number one the water's not anywhere to the point that it can push a vehicle, let alone hide a vehicle. You can see the bottom through it. I mean, no holes through there, nothing. The, the brush and overgrowth around them, when you're there and you're looking, you can see through it. So if there was anything in there, it 100% would have been found. If not, we would have seen it being there. So these areas are 100% clear, and due to the fact of vehicle after vehicle, for safety, we wanted to be able to make sure we maintain the safe distance from where they're coming through. So we did not actually film on these little bridges. We do have a couple people reached out that when we do a bigger land search in the area, they would like to join us and help out on that. And if you're one that would be interested in helping on a land search, again, please reach out to us. Uh, if, if you have a case you would like us to look at, reach out to us. So we are heading home now. And until next time, stay safe and let's try to bring some of these people home.